Assalamu alaikum. I am Ali Shujat from Group 28, and today the topic of my independent work is ECG as an informative method in studying of heart. First of all, let us talk what actually the ECG is. ECG is basically the graphical representation of electric potential generated by the heart due to the passing of waves of depolarization through it and then it's spreading on body and the tissues of the body. Einthoven in 1902 discovered it and Einthoven is called as the father of ECG. Now let us talk what the Einthoven triangle is. Einthoven triangle is triangle between our left arm, our left leg and our right arm. A triangle is made up and we call it as an Enthoven's triangle. Now, Enthoven's law. Enthoven's law is basically the potential generated at any instant between two bipolar limb leads. For example, if we have a limb lead 2 and its potential is equal to limb lead 1 plus limb lead 3. Now, we are going to discuss how ECG tells us uh, in case of heart disease. If we have a uh, pain in our chest, we called it as angina pain. If we felt it, we must do ECG. ECG, if we have shortness of breath, we must do ECG. And now let us discuss the waves that are generated by the ECG. We have Q wave, that is for the septal depolarization. Then we have R wave for the ventricular depolarization. And then S wave, that is also for the depolarization, but in Purkinje fibers. And collectively Q, R and S is for the ventricular depolarization. And T wave we have is, uh, T wave is for the ventricular repolarization, not for the depolarization. And when we are collecting Q, R, S and T, they are the three waves of the heart. And U wave is, ex U wave is experienced in case of hypokalemia. And now ECG is basically used for the accurate detection of cardiac pathological events. And uh, we have, if we are feeling shortness of breath, and uh, we have uh, different events such as brachycardia and tachycardia. Brachycardia is basically when our rhythms are missing in our ECG, and tachycardia is arrhythmia. There is no rhythm that we are felting. We call it as a tachycardia. And uh, we also have different augmental vectors. Basically, we have 12 leads and 10 electrodes in case of ECG. We have six leads uh, on our chest and we call them as their chest leads. We have two for the augmental vector left for the left arm, two for the augmental vector right for the right arm and in the same way we have for the uh, legs, augmental vector left for the left leg and augmental vector right for the uh, right leg or foot, right foot or right leg. And uh, what case we have to do the ECG is uh, when we are experiencing shortness of breath and arrhythmia and we have chest pain, we must do that ECG. And in case of analytical method, it takes 7 to 12 minutes to complete, complete the process of ECG. While in digital, we, mm, we may be in 2 or 3 minutes, uh, we can do ECG. And we modern called as EKG. And I have done my uh, practical work of ECG digitally and you must watch it. And for uh, before that, thank you so much and watch my practical video. It's basically the ECG machine, a digital ECG machine. And here's the four, four uh, leads we have. We remember it as uh, red from read and yellow from your and green from good and it's from books. Uh, we have to put this uh, on the patient's wrist and then put this button on and uh, this machine will automatically uh, read uh, its heartbeat and print out its ECG. Uh, you can see here the printout. Uh, 